Cinder. Really? The true story of Cinderella. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl named Cinderella. She had two wicked stepsisters. Who? Wicked stepsisters? Really? What a lie. Cinderella was the one who was wicked. And saying Cinder Cinderella was beautiful it is isn't even fair. She got a magical makeover from a fairy godmother. If you want to know the true story of Cinderella, then listen up. Because this is what really happened. It was the day of the prince's grand ball, and Cinderella was eating breakfast with her, with her kind stepmother and her two lovely stepsisters, Anastasia and Drisella. Cinderella, did you please cross your first one? No, I'm a cheap banana. Cinderella, would you like to take on great on this cage? Are you kidding me, Anastasia? I'm not touching guinea pigs. You know I can stand your oversized and rodent flop ball. Cinderella. I have to be the pumpkin patch before I get ready for the Christmas ball. No, I didn't do this a lot. The pumpkin splash with my outfit. No matter how nice Cinderella's stepmother and stepsisters tried to be, no matter how reasonable their request, Cinderella only cared about one thing. Herself! I haven't been shopping for like almost 24 hours. Now, what am I going to wear to the ball? Oh, now, sweetie, get me that bag. How about your white dress with silver slipper? I wore that for Elle's birthday party two years ago. No, what about the pink dress with ruffles and lace? <gasps> are you serious? Ruffles and lace are so totally last week. Don't you have any fashion sense? Oh. Well, zap! There was a flash of light, a crackle of noise, a billowing burst of gray smoke. A short, white-haired woman in a sparkly purple pantsuit appeared in the middle of the dining room table. Well, I could do the picnic with food and give it the the food. What do you need me to do? <laughs> Who in the world are you? To the room, for the floor. Of course, did you recognize my wand? Before recognize your wand. Who cares about your wand? You've ruined my breakfast. The fairy godmother looked down. Sure enough. The pointed toe of one shoe had stabbed through Cinderella's buttered toes. Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. My zap didn't go out to make it difficult to see where I'm landing. Cinderella rolled her eyes and smashed a slice of toast in the spacious plate. Whatever, just don't let it happen again. Now, get to work, I need a dress. Whoosh! The fairy godmother waved her wand, and a piece of the sky came down. Leaving itself around the sea level, wearing a high waisted red velvet gown. Do you expect me to go barefoot? Whoosh! Two thin streams of water flew from a fountain in the courtyard, and black glossy slippers suddenly sparkled like diamonds on Cinderella's gained feet. Now, how am I going to get to the ball? I can't walk in this thing! The baby would do, and the baby would do, and the baby all of this stuff is for you! Within a few magical minutes, Cinderella was ready for the princess grand ball. However, her stepsisters and stepmother weren't so happy about some of the fair godmother's decisions. That was my best pumpkin for the country fair and he turned it into a coach! My guinea pigs, they're giant fuzzy horses. I don't know where the old hunter come. Coach with the driver with the white helmet. But has anyone seen my hard boat air? Since Cinderella had nothing left to do, she spent the rest of her day lounging around the house while her stepsisters dropped the guinea pig's cage, pulled weeds in the pumpkin patch, and did dozens of other chores. That evening, Cinderella climbed up to her coach, not bothered to offer her exhausted, hard working stepsisters a ride. But, Zap, Sizzle, Boom! Just as the coach was about to pull away from the house, Cinderella's fairy godmother reappeared like a rabbit from a magician's hat. Oh, Cinderella dear, sorry to bother you, but I nearly forgot. The magic of it ends at midnight. Be sure to leave the cup the ball before the clock strikes twelve. Can fix the kind of booty after being trained to horses. Duh, I know horses can tell time. I'm not like stupid, you know. And with that, the coach rounds away. Dust billowing up from the road 
As the guinea horses pounded their way toward the palace. As the coach faded from sight, the fairy godmother shook her head, shook her head, and disappeared. Wow. So their stepmother took to the stage and said, Could you girls keep an eye on Cinderella? I'm not, I'm not sure she paid attention to the ball, to the spell and at midnight. It's pretty well, we can help. And Cinderella's stepsisters began the long, dusty trek to the prince's palace. Two squealing guinea pigs. But at least some of us still live 